In this session, I'm going to go over dialogue flow intents. What is an intent? If you didn't see my introduction uh, video, this is part of a series. I introduced dialogue flow from Google as a way to add intelligent AI conversations to your many chat chatbot. So go back and watch that video if you're just starting here. Make sure you get that foundation before you dive into these detailed videos that I'm going over. Now, an intent is, is basically a definition of what is the person intending to mean when they text you something. For example, a buyer may come to Messenger and say, I'm looking to buy a three bedroom or I want a three bedroom, two bath in Philly. Those are different phrases that a person may enter into chatbot marketing where we can bundle all these phrases into what's called an intent of buying. And then based on the intent of buying, we're able to identify what is the appropriate response that I want to send back to the person when they message me that message. So let's dive into dialogue flow and let's take a look at the intents. Okay, when you log into your dialogue flow system and, and what we're using here is what's called dialogue flow essentials, which is a free account from Google. Uh, you only ha don't have to start paying to, uh, until you get more and more conversations going in your system. And then they have a pricing table. You'll see how much it'll cost if you really uh, ramp this thing up. I've been using this for two years and I haven't had to pay uh, based on all my leads that I'm doing in my real estate business. So on the left-hand side is the dialogue flow menu. And when you're looking at intents, there's two, you'll see there's uh, ability to hit this plus sign. You could add language packs. So my Pro Edge package, um, I, I built both a uh, English brain, but also a Spanish brain. So if somebody comes in and starts talking in Spanish to me over Messenger, the bot's going to uh, respond back in Spanish. So uh, it knows how to converse with that person. If it's English, it'll be English. So you could have multiple language sets here in Dialogflow. On the intents, what the intent is, is you're going to come up with a, uh, an example of uh, uh, what's a subject that, uh, or ca not so much a subject, but more of a category of what are they intending to do. So for example, if somebody is looking to buy, um, I have in my package a real estate home buying uh, intent. So if you look here, when you create an intent, down here you can identify uh, different expressions of how people will say things. So you simply just say it like you normally would, you know, I want a new home with three beds, right? And I enter that in. So as I type in that intent and that phrase, what dialogue flow is doing is it's already mapping to the action is one, <laughs> they want to buy. Um, the, the type is a home and the number of bedrooms is three. These are all mapping back to many chat fields in my Pro Edge package. I've connected all my chatbot flows to the AI brain. So as the person's naturally telling the bot something, the bot is, is categorizing the conversation, responding appropriately, and based on their data that they're giving me, it's putting them in different fields. So I can send it over to my CRM that they're looking for three beds and uh, they didn't say where it is right now in their conversation. So I'm gonna have to ask them where they wanna live. Um, but at least the bot's collecting that data. Now in the intent down here, you could build as much uh, uh, examples as you want. So I'm interested in buying land, looking to buy a house. I'm going to buy a house within five months. So if I click on this, you'll see the length of time is within five months. It's a house and the intent is to buy something. So that's what these color combinations are on uh, the intent uh, questions that you're putting in the bot. Now at the very bottom, you have what's called the response. So uh, if you don't have a chat bot, you could just put in a text response is great. I can help you. find a nice home, right? That could be the response. Now, in, you could have multiple versions of this. So you could put multiple uh, text responses so it doesn't sound robotic. So if you don't have a chat bot you're gonna connect to, you could simply put in text responses of how the bot's gonna respond to that question. So in here, I'm gonna get rid of that one. What you also could do is what's called a custom payload. Now this is getting a little techy and I'm here to support you. If you don't wanna deal with this, 
my pro edge real uh, chatbot for real estate comes with a full AI brain. You could just deploy it in your system and it's ready to go. So that's up to you. But I want to teach you here. I'm a big believer of teach you to fish. So what you could do in chatbot marketing and, and in, in dialogue flow is map the responses from the question to specific flows in your many chat account. So the syntax is right here. It's uh, open paren and then it's flow. And then this content uh, with a number behind it is actually the flow number that is inside of many chat. And you know that by when you're in many chat, if you open a flow at the very top in the URL, you'll see that uh, content uh, number there. And you literally just paste it right there. And then when they say something about buying a home, now the bot's going to start the conversation about buying a home. And you saw that in my first video when the person on my messenger just said, hey, I'm looking for two bedrooms, three baths in Philly. The bot started saying, hey, I can help you find a great home. And then it started asking them other questions about are they pre-approved and other things that um, I want to know about the person when the bot's qualifying them. So that is what an intent is. Now, an intent could be as, as uh, you know, uh, something around buying. It could also be like small talk. So in small talk, uh, in my example, when I was in Messenger, and if you, again, if you haven't seen the first video, watch it because I'm doing all these examples, is uh, like for positive responses, when somebody says, uh, you know, oh, this is my Spanish one here, uh, but you're seeing, you know, different Spanish languages, and, and down here, the bot's just saying, you know, muchas gracias, right? So it's thanking them. So in the bot, um, you could have all kinds of responses. Uh, one thing that I found in Philly was I was getting a lot of people in message marketing asking me for my rent to own program, do we take section eight? So there was all different ways that they are uh, responding to section eight. So I created an intent around section eight. So as you come down here, you'll see all the different ways that people were asking me that question. I'm a section eight uh, a voucher holder. Uh, do uh, y'all take section eight? <laughs> Uh, would you uh, be willing to accept Section 8? So you see all the different ways people can ask questions about Section 8. And all I'm doing down here is I have a standard answer that I map back. So when somebody asks me that on Messenger, the bot knows how to come back with an appropriate response. And again, you can link it to a flow to carry the conversation on or simply respond with a, hey, thank you, or they say you're cute, thank you, or have a nice day and they give a thumbs up and so forth. So that is what an intent is. As I go in the series, I'm gonna go through each of the elements of dialogue flow to make you a chatbot and AI ninja. So again, hit that bell if you haven't so you don't miss the next video here on the channel.